This is incredibly <laughs> professional. <laughs> I feel so live. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's live. Yeah. We've got four minutes. Four network connection. Connection available. Connection available. Mm. I think Good it's news. <laughs> we have one thumbs up. Hey, someone's oh, yeah. Okay, I can see the chat. This is great. This Where's is the chat? Where very is that? professional. The chat is on Henny, Twitch. Henny, are you on Zoom? I'm on Zoom, yeah. Yeah, you're not going to see the <laughs> chat, mate. You're on Zoom. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. We're just a bunch of old men who have no idea what on earth is <laughs> going on. What yeah, we don't thing? understand technology, so we're. I'm streaming this on my phone, <laughs> on Facebook, and then we're also streaming on Twitch. So anyone who's not on Twitch yeah, and you fancy, fancy phone, yeah. giving us a follow, <laughs> you can head over to Haken Official on Twitch. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, all 73 of you. Oh, wow. Down, Ooh, 64 wow. folks. 82, 89. Oh, Who's got a question? <laughs> Someone Too question, nice. go. Or we could just do like a talk show. <laughs> so Charlie's on holiday. Oh, here we go. I've got some interaction. <laughs> oh, yeah? Try another way of live during... No, I'm not going to try that. Where's Diego? First question. <laughs> Diego is in Mexico. Next question. Yeah. <laughs> um, you got coffee? Yeah, I got coffee. Oh. Ah, there's someone called Diego watching. Diego is watching. <laughs> Oh, oh, there he is. Ooh. There you go. Best people ever. How's quarantine going? Oh, there's a couple questions. He's really good. Really good. <laughs> so, for actually, technically, the first question I'm seeing, are you going to play Sun live? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, the age-old question. Yeah, maybe. One day. We'll Not right, right, right now? <laughs> I have yeah, to learn it. Right. We can all learn it right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I can play some shaker <laughs> while you guys. Uh... What key is it in? <laughs> Sun. When is the next track being released? I believe Charlie is about to perform the next track. Go for yeah. it. On his um, strangely shaped guitar. It's missing a lot of stuff. This is called Next Track on the album Virus. <laughs> Next track. Check out the sustain on that. Oh. I can't really hear the sustain. <laughs> <laughs> no sustain. <laughs> Dave sustain. Great time. Beach time. Dave sustain. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can you guys do a live stream during this quarantine? <laughs> this is a live stream concert. Uh, That's what this is. <laughs> So, someone says, since when did you guys start working on the current new album after Vector? Oh, that's a, that's a proper question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, pretty much straight away, I think it was. Yeah, we had a bunch um, of ideas left over from Vector that we knew yeah. we were going to use for Virus. I reckon it took about five months just to tie it all together. So, when do you reckon? Yeah. Like, August, maybe? It was before that, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think like we had we had some stuff that we were working on for Vector that we just couldn't sort of uh develop at the time, I think, and we just kind of saved it for later. Sometimes like you have an idea and it's and you know it, but it doesn't naturally progress itself. Mm. Um so oftentimes we'll just say, Oh, we'll work on that on the next next album. Virus is basically the stuff we threw in the bin from Vector. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a good thing to say. Yeah, man. Good. Um, <laughs> good headline. Clap <laughs> them out. Oh, this, this person says, hello from Finnish girls. Ooh. <laughs> I've never been there. Um, thoughts on Native Construct? Oh, yeah. Great, great band. I never got to see them, but you did, Connor. I saw them in Dayton, Ohio a few years ago, but if I understand correctly, they're not a band anymore. I think they split up. What, uh, what are they then? They're just they've, a... <laughs> the show. Beyond, they're, they've gone beyond being a band. They're not a full-fledged <laughs> band anymore. <laughs> they're native, native deconstruct. Didn't yes, a, native deconstruct. Didn't, <laughs> didn't you have a jam with them, Connor? You had a jam? No. Or was that... <laughs> <laughs> that was that was my cousin when I was sixteen. 
Um, we have another. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a question go from for Facebook. It. Will you guys probably do mixing mastering work again, either with the guys from the first two albums or from the Mountain? So Jens Bogren did the Mountain, and he did Restoration as well. Yeah, he's amazing. I mean, we're totally open to working with him again. Um, and Space Lab Studios, a guy called Christian, did the first two albums. He was really cool as well. We actually went to stay there, didn't we, Ray, for a couple of mm -hmm. days? That was nice in Düsseldorf. Yeah, he had a studio on a farm, basically. Mm. So, yeah, that was cool. But who knows? Yeah, we haven't really thought about that too far ahead. It's true. We've only just finished making an album. We can't even, we can't <laughs> even consider that kind of question. I've played the album. Yeah. So. We have a question here. It's um, from Miriam Saleh. It says, you are the best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It's not yeah, a question. <laughs> Uh, oh wait okay i'm i'm all right have you been playing virus sense vector planning what, virus sense vector? what connor what are you looking at you like you going you're looking sorry at... i'm I, so just so everyone knows <laughs> where, where, are, where are those questions coming from <laughs> <laughs> so, just so everyone knows i've never streamed anything in my life no idea how to be a streamer don't get the etiquette so i'm looking up here at the twitch chat Looking out the window. So it's yeah. just, yeah, I'm just staring off into the sunset. And it's still afternoon. So not, the sun's not even setting, so I'm going to be here a while. Okay. Um, yeah. But I'm looking at so, questions. Yeah. Uh, and, and this is a question. What you got? What you got? Where's Ross at? I don't know. He's, he's in, um, in the, oh, he's by the seaside. Mm hmm. Near he's actually like me. The, he's sunbathing <laughs> behind Charlie currently. Yeah. Come on, Ross. Come come out of the water. Surfing <laughs> back then. Uh, is question. it warm on that beach? Uh, Ed Donald asks Charlie. It's bit, yes, it's hot, man. It's hot. It's windy. <laughs> now I was going to say it looks a bit windy. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot, but it's windy. Yeah, you should. Uh, you shouldn't wear black. It absorbs the sunlight. Yeah. So I'm mean, just. I'm just, I have to sit here because um, this is the only place I can get Wi-Fi, so. <laughs> okay, we have, a, we have a more serious question mm -hmm. from, um, I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Emilian. Um, hey, guys. So how do you write your songs when it comes to rhythm? How do you conceive sense of rhythm? Oh, boy. Uh, Connor? <laughs> how do I... Uh... <laughs> Come on, Connor. You're in the rhythm section. How do I conceive? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, a lot of it for me is is um, you know, hearing other people's rhythms and being like, "That's cool," and then making something out of that. That's. I mean, I, I like doing that. Um, I don't really like dream rhythms and think, you know what, that would be good. <laughs> I, I don't know. I I I I usually go based on my inspiration from other bands and stuff personally but rich or charlie might have a different take and ray you're a drummer i hear i don't know um, yeah I'm so i'm kidding. probably the wrong person to ask <laughs> I have... are you already... oh go on go on you go you go I'm like that kidding. um that prosthetic rhythm though that was like um <laughs> got <a> guitar <laughs> yeah man. oh it cut out yeah the audio is cutting uh, out on you charlie oh play louder Look how happy he looks. It's, 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 it's not cutting out. It's um, part of the rhythm. Broke the mic. <laughs> Why is it pick up your voice so clearly but then your guitar is muffled and barely audible? So it's, it's just... It's just... <laughs> it must be really loud in there. It's so loud. <laughs> so loud um, on that beach. I guess that rhythm is, is from like one, you know, like a uh, Metallica mm. rhythm. <laughs> Cool tune, but um, just like I'm adding uh, more notes to it. Is that you know, it's just taking edge. what's taking uh, things that you've heard in your life that you like and uh, doing it in a different way. That's um, something else you like. So it's it's basically Metallica with a few extra notes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Loud now. Loud now. I, I have a question, or I don't. Have I think of that as like that rhythm is like the, the, the one rhythm is like terrible. 
I think it was like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> uh, the prophetic okay. one is, is uh. five. So. One, two, three, four, five. I have a question, Charlie, for you. Easy. So it's in five. <laughs> okay, aesthetics in five. Glove and mouth. <laughs> Headline tomorrow. <laughs> I have a question. For Char- so are you playing through an amp right now? No. Okay, that explains it. Never. Thank you. you were, oh, I was before, but not right now. Okay, so I was confused. I was hearing string noise. This, this guitar's got um, volume. <laughs> it's just like it doesn't have a neck. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just a body. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you go, man. Uh, it right down. Okay, I have a question. Airlines, from, man. From trust Naz Hool. What's your What's your favorite song to play live for each of you? What's the hardest song for you to play live? Uh, pardon me. You go first. Um, go on, Ray. What What is the easiest and hardest song? No. What's your favorite your song to play for? The hardest. Yeah. Okay. Um, Nil by mouth and nil by mouth. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Nil by mouth and nil by mouth. Yeah, nil by mouth's hard to play, um, especially to lock in with everyone. Um, but yeah, it's fun as well. So I like that one. We got lots of heart reacts for that. So Who's people next? like nil by mouth. Cool. Um, Don Charlie. I like um, 1985. It's fun to play. Uh, Nil by Mouse is definitely the hardest to play. Definitely. Yeah, my favorite to play is probably Cockroach King. I mean, I, we played it so much, but I still love. That's usually either my favorite or, or second favorite of the night, depending yeah. on the night. I guess I, I always love that song. But they, I mean, Nil by Mouth is just you know, no question. Technically, the hardest. Another tricky one is portals. We haven't played it as yeah, much. That's hard. That's a bit of a bitch to play. Yeah. Language. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's, yeah. here's another question. Um, you said that Virus might be Haken's most eclectic album. Um, yeah. Can you flesh this out more? Eclectic, like Devin Townsend's Empath, where every song has its own unique identity. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I think so. I think that's what we try and do. We try and like every yeah. song uh, is a, is a different song for a reason. Mm-hmm. Um, no, uh, each one's got its own kind of atmosphere. Um, for sure, you know. I mean, you know, I don't know what I don't know if I'd compare it to Empath. That's yeah, totally totally, very- totally its own thing, but it's. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We don't, we don't want to give too much away about the mm. songs, or do we? I don't know. I, don't I, I would know. say, I, I'd give a li- maybe, maybe I shouldn't give much away, but it's uh, it's definitely eclectic. How about that? <laughs> That's all. I've just seen the question, will, will circus music ever make a comeback? That's what we're all asking. <laughs> yeah. It, it used to be the most popular style, and now it's, <laughs> where, where is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's gone now. <laughs> oh, well, could I, could I think of another question? Or not think of one? Of read one? Because I'm actually, I'm so behind. I apologize to anyone I, uh, who's here, Terrible. because I read one question yeah. about every five minutes. Um, so, uh, I'm going to look for questions specifically. So you know, what, while you look for questions, I've got a question for Richard. Great, um, Richard. Do you have a photograph of yourself and Ross in a basketball team? Next year? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you should mention that. Kismet. Ross and I used to go to school together. We went Ishka to school <laughs> and, and high school. <laughs> look at this. See if you can spot me and Ross. Oh, oh there's Ross. Oh. <laughs> See if you can it spot. Ross. Of these Maybe two individuals, see if you can spot yeah, Ross. Maybe you can spot me or Ross. <laughs> what, just the you two? Where, where are we? <laughs> there we are. Uh, <laughs> I think my mum cut my hair with a bowl. <laughs> a terrible. I'm, I'm guessing it's the two you're showing. I don't know. <laughs> and then it's four, but there we go. <laughs> Which two are we? Greenshaw. Uh, some meme. What was the teacher's name? There you right there. <laughs> Mr. Smith. Ooh. Ah, yeah. Mr. Smith, if you're out there, good, good job on these two. Yeah. 
That's, you that's raised a couple of winners. Ross without hair. Yeah. <laughs> Ross without hair. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, I got a question. This one's from Stargate 420. So the new song is very... Oh, this is about the new album again. So the new song is well, very... We're getting, we're getting a lot of angry reactions. <laughs> All from Novena, oh. or someone, someone <laughs> representing Novena, Harrison. Probably. It's Harrison. Oh, he's left. Yeah. <laughs> he left? Someone. So he's like, he's like, he's unstable. That's the not window true. and jumped outside. Okay. Um, so the new song is very heavy. Is the rest of the album also nice and heavy? We probably don't want to give too much away on that one. Well, there's there's some heavy stuff on there, and there's some not heavy stuff on there. It's true. Yeah. Cool, it's a man. Mixture. It's a mixture. What are the favorite and least favorite songs you've written? Oh, we kind of did that. Oh, kind of, almost. <laughs> I think we just love. We love. Go with, go with. <laughs> <laughs> Least favorite songs we've written. That's a weird. Yeah. Question. I mean, that's an odd question. That's from Scout Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I don't even want to know what a Scout Bonk is. <laughs> no, definitely uh, not legal. I I think all of our songs are great. Just just about okay. Yeah, I like all of them. Yeah, I mean, I like all of them equally. They're like my children, which I don't have. Yeah, I don't either. Just think the average. No, no, uh, no favorites. Even though I said yeah. I have, yeah, don't have any favorites. Now I'm this is a good that. question. What's Connor drinking? Well, funny you should ask. <laughs> no, it's just some coffee. Yeah, it's some coffee that you probably spent about an hour making, though. Uh, no, it's, it takes me ten minutes. Not even. <laughs> Cool. Ethiopian. Was June the original release date before the plague? Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So we've June been, uh, been the release date. Yeah, I mean, like this this whole thing is just, um, you know, we're sticking to the plan that we've set out. Um, you know, there's so many people involved with releasing an album, you know, from the label to the, you know, um, mixing engineer to the mastering engineer to the artwork. Um, Websites, videos, you know, and, and everything's kind of in place like a year ago. Um, so, you know, it's by the time we were, we were on tour uh, in the US just now, um, you know, everything was like planned to, you know, we finished the tour and then we're, we're going to announce the album a couple of days after we get back and then. Um, and then really everything just escalated really suddenly. You know, we were, we were kind of happily going around on our tour bus in, our, in a kind of little bubble and, you know, hearing things about this pandemic and, and you know, it's kind of hard to know what to take seriously through the news and everything. So um, it was, we were kind of a bit oblivious to it until we woke up in uh, Nashville and the driver just arrived on to the back to the bus and said, um, our tour's cancelled. Um, and then we had to make arrangements to come home kind of thing. So, um, you know, it was everything happened so quick. But by that time, all the kind of album stuff had been finalised, you know, like the artwork. The, we just finalised the master, um, submitted everything to the streaming services. And so that, by that point, it was kind of too late to uh, delay it or, you know, change anything. So it was, we just kind of have had to stick to the plan. Mm. Um, so that's what we're doing. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, we couldn't, it's out of our control and, you know, it's, we, we did kind of think about, you know, the kind of negative kind of connotations of it, but at the same time, it's like, you know, this, it's only uh, music. At the end of the day, yeah, you know, there's, it's there's more important things, more important things to worry about than a, than the title of an album. Yeah. Well, True. Um, yeah. so any plans to come to Argentina in the future? Absolutely. I can answer that one for. Yeah, for yeah we had a similar question over here on Facebook. Oh, yeah. We'd love to return to South America. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we had some of the, the best shows we've ever played in South America. <laughs> so we'll definitely be back at some point. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is a good question. Hey guys, this is from oh that that question was from I am C N T. I don't I I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. This question's from Pokey Mad, nineteen ninety eight. 
Nice. Hey guys, yes, huge, man. huge fan here. What's the favorite game for Ooh. each of you? Now this is a good oh. question. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna come straight in <laughs> with a game that I've been hitting pretty hard recently that I'm sure some of you might be aware yeah. of. It's called Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> um, if you're not familiar with it, get on that now. It's very good. You get to play as a goose, which is just totally novel in itself. You get to waddle around and honk at people and flap your wings and scare them away and steal their glasses. And uh, it's, it caused all kinds of havoc. Untitled Goose Game. Cool. That's, That's a good one. All right. Yeah, well, that's a good one. I'll jump in here. <laughs> Second. No contest. Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Bang. Oh, yeah. Good game. Didn't, didn't good see game. that one coming, honestly. Didn't see wow. it. Wow. I, I, I mean, <laughs> I know not many have uh, heard of it. It's kind of indie, but yeah. I have to go with Breath yeah. of the Wild. Yeah, if, you, if you've never heard of that, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Charlie, have you ever played a game? Yeah, man. Uh, I, I <laughs> <Yeah>. think, <laughs> to, my, to my mind, is this game has never been bettered. I've, uh -oh. I've tried to play games since this game, and, it's, and none, none of them have kind of sucked me in in the same way, and that is the original Tomb Raider. Ooh, Ooh <laughs> nice. Yeah. Cut. No, that's I used to play that with my good friend Pete lots when we were younger. That was fun. Yeah. No. So, for me, that game has never been bettered. Um, love it. Back in the day, I used to love uh, GoldenEye <laughs> on the N64. Mm -hmm. um, that, <laughs> I reckon... Skyrim... I would applaud if I wasn't holding a phone. <laughs> <laughs> Here at the GoldenEye. Yeah. Um, probably Skyrim, though. That came along oh, yeah. a few years later. And, um, yeah. Incredible. What a game. Yeah. Honourable mention, GTA Vice City. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. That's it. What? <laughs> what? No? Big honourable mention. That was the Miami one, right? Yeah. No. Uh, no, that was not the best GTA. Oh, we got unlimited minutes. What, what was the best GTA for you? For me, it was... Um, four. Miami. GTA 4. GTA 4? Was that Liberty City Stories? Yeah. On PS3. Oh, that's because no, um, San Andreas. We were born like a couple of years ago. <laughs> but, you know. Was that San Andreas? That one? No, oh, that was I'm, after San Andreas. I'm thinking of San Andreas. Never mind. That's cool. So, so PS2. Yeah, PS2. I, I was uh, Liberty City Stories, or whatever GTA 4 was. Vice City was good. You're right. I'm confusing it with San Andreas. Vice so. City was amazing. It was really good. Yeah. Um, San Andreas yeah. was the one after Vice City. No. Think. Man, we've got so many questions that we haven't answered. I know. I, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I tried playing. I tried playing the GTAs, but then I was like, "Where's, where's all the caves, man?" <laughs> so I turned it off. Yeah, fair enough. Oh yeah. boy, I don't get it. Need, need tombs. Tomb Raider. Oh <laughs> shit! I didn't realize that was a callback. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> where when are you gonna go? When, when are you gonna, guys? When are you guys gonna convert to being Twitch streamers? I want to hake and let's play. Um, we are actually streaming this on Twitch currently as well, but we have no clue how to use Switch. Connor's done his very best to learn um, how to make it work. So we're currently streaming for those who don't know on Twitch yeah. at Haken Official. Come and join us there if you want, instead of looking at it on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know how many. Ben Rosenberg watch. says you're wrong. Thanks, Ben. You're wrong. Four is the worst. Oh, am I wrong? Um, so yeah, I don't most, know. What... Most, most people oh, don't no. rate four. Oh, well, maybe it's because I was like twelve. Vice City is definitely the best one. Yeah, it's by far the best. The music in it is incredible. Yeah. Yeah, the music, the soundtrack's incredible. Um, I can. I, I have a bunch of questions that we could try and uh, do it really quickly. So Seb six one nine favorite Devin Townsend album. Terrier, greatest album of all time. Well, top five for sure. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Ziltoid, Ziltoid, my favorite one. Oh, first, yeah. the first Ziltoid. Right. I actually really love Empath. Big, big fan. But I don't, I don't, I'm not really one for favorites. So Empath is my current yeah. favorite. 
Um, so this I don't know the answer to. Is the final riff in Prosthetic in 17.8? No. Is that is that one of Devin Townsend's albums? <laughs> oh, you don't want me to talk about because I don't. I don't know that one. Yeah. Since if uh, you could check out the um, tab on our YouTube channel for Prosthetic, and uh, you'll see that that final riff is just in four four. Ooh. Controversial. Oh, um, but it's just the drum backbeat switches from the one and three, so the kick on the one. Mm. Snare, snare on the three. Um, every repeat, it switches, so the kick is on the two and the snare is on the four. So it kind of changes your perception of where the downbeat is, but really it's, you can just count four, four throughout. Yeah. I experimented with keeping it sounding more like it was in four, four, didn't I, Charlie? But Yeah. Charlie was adamant that it had to sound the way that it did, and... Uh, it's cool. I'm, I'm happy. We happy. He told me to switch it back because it's. Yeah. I still can't get my head around it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I can. I can. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel it. You know. Uh, sorry. So, um, here's one. It's actually a Pantera thing. There's a Pantera song that does that, which I can't remember the Ooh. name of. But... Um, this one we can answer quickly. Do any of you have perfect pitch from Zero Page X? Oh yeah, cool. yeah. <laughs> we all do. Yeah. It's actually. Oh. This is a C. D. That's an E. This is a D. <laughs> <laughs> this is a C sharp. Yep. Um, we've got a question here from. Which one? one? The answer is no. <laughs> no. <laughs> the real musicians, man. We don't need perfect pitch. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> you like? Do you guys like Rod Rodriff six six six? It says, "Do you like Tool?" I, I say yes. I like Tool. They're cool. Tool think really of cool. new albums, great. Love I think it. we all like Tool. Yeah, everyone likes mm. Tool. Here's yeah, a great question. Sound. Love the sound of that new album. This it's is a great sound. question that I would love to answer, and I'm sure everyone would. Favorite movie of each of you from Pokemon 1998 again? Oh my god! Mm. Favorite movie? Oh yeah! Oh, that's wow. too much. Too much. This, this is this is way too much. I can start. <laughs> I'm leaving. I can start. <laughs> um, mine. It, I know what yours is. Yeah, you know what mine is. Synecdoche, New York, Charlie Kaufman is easily my favorite movie of all time. But I don't, I don't want to expound on it because it'll take forever. Yeah. Oh. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump in because the, the, the other two are probably going to take ages to decide. I'm just going to no, give... I, got, I know the answer right, right, away. Right, Jurassic right, right away. Jurassic Park. Jurassic? No, not Jurassic uh, Park. One of the... Oh, is, that your, no. is that what you're saying? Is that your no, one? No, no. I'm speculating. <laughs> All right. These are all my favorite films. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These are a few of my favorite films. There's seven out there. Top five. The seven out there. Wait, what? Hmm? Is it? Are you naming movies or what? Is it, I don't is, know. What, what are we name? <laughs> Jurassic Park's a movie. You said that. <laughs> is that your one? Uh, no, nah, my my one my one is Samurai Cop. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay, in that same yeah. time, I'm gonna it's go. Funny, mine, mine's Time Cop. It's my favorite. <laughs> oh no way! <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I'm joking. Cop. I'm joking. Et. Et. Mine's Beverly oh, Hills yeah. Cop. Classic. Classic. That's it's too hard. Hence is Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go for Truman Show. High, oh, Highlander. Yeah. Highlander Two. Ah, oh, Rambo: First Blood Part Two. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Good. Rocky Four, of course, the big one. Yeah, Rocky Four. Wait, Ray, do you actually like have one? Do you actually have a real favourite? No, Ray. Um, I think Samurai Cop is legit. But if if you won't accept <laughs> Samurai Cop, then I will, I will, uh, I will trump that with Troll Two. Great. All right. Uh, okay. Good, good yeah. Laying it all out on the table. Uh. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, what would? Oh boy, I, I'm I'm doing a, a little bit of filtering here. Um, Keep up. Keep up. Uh, okay, I got one. What's yeah, everyone's go favorite band? Seeing as things are on the favorites. Ooh, oh, I can, I, can, I can do this. Oh, oh too much. Favorite band. <laughs> Connor Green. Off you go. I can go right now. So anything, Justin Vernon. Has done so. Bon Iver, Volcano Choir. 
Oh, yeah. Any of that stuff. I Justin mean, Vernon isn't a band. Yeah, but Bon Iver and Volcanic Choir are. Those are probably, it's my favorite. The Nationals have <laughs> been ask. huge up, big, up on my list. Uh, the Nationals. Yeah, I love, I love the Nationals. <laughs> Charlie loves the Nationals. I, I've, I've actually been to see him. We went, yeah. Seen him live. Mm -hmm. Seen him live. Yep. Right, man. In Berlin, we went. It was a very romantic yeah. evening where we yeah. stood 50 <laughs> feet apart for some reason. <laughs> well, we were, we were preparing for preparing. Yeah. Yeah. current events. Yeah. Practice. <laughs> right. Um, oh, go on, Charlie. Favorite the, band, Queen. Yeah. Easy. Next. Hey, man. I mean, <laughs> gr growing up. Um, oh. Growing up. Red, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, my God. That's not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> well, now it's very different. But you can see he's, on, he's instantly do regretting. It, do it now. Do yeah, your favorite band now, though. Hey, now, probably everything, everything. Hmm. Would probably be my favorite band at the moment. Yeah, right. Have they got any new music out? They've got some new music on the way, haven't they? I think they got a new album coming. Yeah, yeah great band. Years ago. Um, Gentle Giant for me, probably. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about all the prog bands. About like, <laughs> another good one. Yeah, Gentle Giant are yeah. pretty, pretty legendary. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty much the best band that's ever existed. Probably. Uh, this yeah. is an interesting question. Uh, any other hobbies besides music? Says I, Doc Z One. Interesting. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's, a, that's a no then. <laughs> <laughs> next question. Next question. <laughs> hobbies? No, not really hobbies. No. What do you? I mean, what is a hobby? Really? Is it, like, um... <laughs> what is a hobby? <laughs> like... <laughs> I like watching TV. Like needle needle craft or something like okay, that. Okay, I don't want anything like that. Your hobby. Jerry Jerry Ghidros texted me and said, favorite guilty right. pleasure movie to watch on the tour bus. <laughs> nice. Well I, we all know what his one is. But yeah. Pop stars. Yeah. 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 He loved it. It wasn't my favorite, Jerry. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I wasn't into it. <laughs> Not a big fan either, Jerry, to be honest. I quite liked it. I quite liked Ross it. Ross really liked it. Mm. I didn't um, love it. Um, what was the question? Oh, no, right. like, <laughs> what are these? I guess like I don't know what, but we, then we had to kind of uh, figure out what is a hobby. Well, if you because you can't say hobby. like watching movies is not a hobby. That's just like a no, unless you're like a critic making movie. making movies. That could be a hobby. Yeah, doing what? Making movies. Making movies. Yeah, everyone's a like a hobbyist filmmaker. Those are all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I guess I don't have any hobbies. I mean, I, I think listening to music can be a hobby. I do that a lot. Um, that's kind of that's you know, that was besides music though. Uh, oh boy, <laughs> <laughs> coffee. That's a pretty big hobby for me. I like cooking. Yeah, and, uh, uh, and making I'll... games. Making games. <laughs> making games, you uh, as you can see. Yeah. And uh, before before all this stuff went a bit nuts. Climbing, lots of climbing. Mm -hmm. climbing. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good fun. And reading, um, lots of read. Head Richard oh, yeah. like a good book. Headphones, a fun hobby for me too. I've got my Sennheiser <laughs> HD 800s here. Uh, here's, a, here's a good one. Eh? Andre C. 2001 says, "Who was responsible for the Gangnam Style bit?" Ah, During good question. Endless yeah. knot in Richmond uh, last month. Very good question. The uh, person responsible for that was. Um, Thomas. So, yeah. There we go. Question to Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> no last names required. Know Thomas. <laughs> Thomas, our tech Thomas. Everyone knows Thomas. Oh, yeah. you, uh... He only goes by Thomas. <laughs> uh, yeah, he put that in. And uh, we thought it was funny. So he said, yeah, you should do that. Yeah. There have been other ones. So. He's done others in the past. Um, I can't think can you, of them. Can you name them? Go well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never mind. There was one we did in London, but I don't. There wasn't a specific. Thing. Ah, whatever. Maybe someone remembers. Um, no, I don't know. Okay. Well, like someone watching maybe remembers that they were there. Uh, uh, oh, Nick Gauntlet, one of my one of my buddies there. He's asking who gets the best guitar solo on the album. On the new oh, album. I think it's. Uh, I'm, right. I'm going to say that, um, head, like, Rich 
does a solo at the end of uh, the Messiah Complex suite. That's probably one of the best taken solos ever. Rich, I got to be honest. Oh, I think that, I, would say. <laughs> I mean, I haven't told you, so I might as well say it now. I think that is one of my favorite guitar solos ever. I'm not even kidding. Wow. Oh, my God. It's serious. I, thought, I, just think, it's, I think it's amazing. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. <laughs> uh, uh, I think um, Ray's then, guitar solo is better, to be fair. My guitar solo? Yeah. Well, I was going to say that if, if bass counts as a, <laughs> as a guitar, then um, there are, there's actually a guest bass solo on the Messiah Complex. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah. Lasts, it lasts for <laughs> three notes, I think. Yeah, three notes. It's a three-note long solo. Yeah, three. And uh, we challenge you to find it because <laughs> it's, yeah. it's so hidden. It really <laughs> completely changed the whole feel. Yeah, really Are we allowed to reveal who played the solo? That's the thing. Um, I, I mean, allowed. We're allowed to do anything. It will. It will all become clear. <laughs> it will. Well, yeah, let's I mean, announce it. Let's announce it right now. This, you heard it here, folks. <laughs> our friend, our. Friend, our esteemed mixing engineer, mm -hmm. um, Nolly Adam. We call him. We call him Adam. We call him not like, Nolly Adam. <laughs> Nolly Adam. <laughs> Nolly, Adam. <laughs> Nolly Adam. Yeah, he's he's Nolly got a, he's got a guest bass solo credit on the album. <laughs> for good reason. Yeah. Um, yeah. Basically, because he asked for one, so he gave it to. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of true. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was. He didn't require any payment other than. Well, the thing is, he he uh, he actually asked. He asked, kind of tongue in cheek, and we 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 said, "Now, nah, mate, what's going on?" Yeah, <laughs> you can't get out of it now, buddy. Yeah, so when you hear that song, listen out. Yeah, look out for that bass solo. Um, okay, so I've missed a lot of questions here. So, uh, let's sorry, go. guys. Yeah, so, sorry. Uh, Guys, so let me let me let me butt in just for anyone who's not aware. We're we're also on Twitch. That's where Connor is. Yeah, Connor's in the land of Twitch, streaming this properly rather yeah. than from a mobile phone. Um, yeah. So if you want to join us on Twitch at Haken Official, you can do that, and you can see that Twitch. And also, I'd like to say if anyone out there actually knows how to set up Twitch properly, <laughs> oh yeah, in a professional manner, we'd love to hear from you because uh, it's like a labyrinth of menus and. Mm -hmm buttons you have to press and no, nothing seems to make any sense so yeah we have figured no that out let us know um yeah so it, ketchup or mustard zero page x what ketchup or mustard <laughs> <laughs> from zero page x the user oh uh, ketchup for me <clears throat> mustard coleman's english mustard yeah, mustard's, mustard's pretty banging, to be fair. I'm not a big fan. I do like mustard. Actually, you know, <laughs> I, I prefer ketchup, but the, have you ever had those little pretzels with the, covered in the mustard um, powder? Those are really nice. No. Oh, no. no. Okay. No, I wouldn't like that. <laughs> the Vibes is a good album. Um, but, um, it's, it's like, really, it's about the, like, mixing them together, though, isn't it? The ketchup and mustard is... I prefer um, dinner and ketchup and mayonnaise. That's quite nice. Oh, yeah. Just putting it out there. I don't like mayonnaise that much, you know. But um, really, like the only true answer to that, which is the best sauce, is brown sauce. Brown sauce, <laughs> yeah. HP or daddy yeah. sauce. Yeah, I've been I've been smashing a hot sauce lately, which which is which is actually made by the band Goat Whore. I don't know if anyone's familiar with Goat Whore. <laughs> Everyone, who doesn't know Goat Whore? Well, apparently they're quite a big. Uh, yeah, yeah. Band. heard the name. I've, I've heard. Of um, I've I've got a I've got a Goat Whore hot sauce that I'm getting through at the moment, and it's like brown sauce but spicy. It's really good. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, and that was that was gifted to me um, when we were in Houston earlier this year, and uh, very very kindly. Someone yeah. asked me if I liked Majora's Master Ocarina of Time better, and that's Ocarina of Time. Sorry, I just want to get that. Into um someone says why is richard not credited as contributor to prosthetic just a typo it is just a mistake yeah there's a glitch in the youtube department yeah. i think but i think it's being changed now hopefully he was very much very much involved in oh yeah, yeah. i got Barely. some great behind the scenes footage of richard <laughs> and prosthetic actually 
that. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, I've got, I've got a great, I've got oh, a great oh, bonus. Yeah. I've got an <laughs> alternate. Yeah, we should release that. Uh, can I stuff. can I play that right now? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah if yeah, I can yeah. find it, I'll do that. <laughs> Hold on, give yeah, me a second. Vocal. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, you've got it. I've got loads of stuff. Yeah. So we we. We recorded some. Oh, Richard, were you describing that? Sorry, I butted in. Well, no, yeah, I was just going to say. Oh, Connor. Kind of <laughs> sorry, sorry, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> it sounds very clear. Um, okay, is this it? <laughs> Do you hear it? Barely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of. <laughs> cutting out. That's cutting out, sorry. <laughs> the chorus you can see Richard has double tracked quadruple tracked I think I, think I was actually me is that you? I've got, I've got the project yeah. yeah Ray is doing the project but Richard's doing the, the, the golden voice recording yeah so basically I don't want to boast about it but I've got a good voice yeah I, oh man I've got so many great videos of all that stuff <laughs> I can share on here sometimes bonus track um, this is a good question. Who are your main influences for Virus? Ooh. We don't, I mean, we don't need to answer that, I guess, but that was a good question. Uh, each other. Mm -hmm. Wow. The vibe. That's, that's incredible. Yeah we, we, yeah, we we worked on a lot of the music, a lot of the fine tuning of the music in the, in the tour bus when we were on tour with Devin. And uh, we were we were influenced just by our surroundings on the bus. By the it's just, vibe, just it's incredible. Kind of true, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Vibe. It was a good vibe. It was a good vibe. It was the vibe. Uh, uh, okay, let me let me look for some questions here, folks. I'm I really can give a good question. Okay, go. Want? Yeah, go for no. it. What you got? How has life changed for you all since becoming Haken? Oh. Well, we didn't really become Haken. It just happened. It just slowly happened. It slowly still, became. Yeah, it slowly <laughs> became Haken. But we're still still just doing the same thing, really. Still trying to make it our main earner. We still have to teach when we come home from tour. Um, we're still working at that. But with each album that we make, we're gradually getting to that point where Haken could be our sole, our sole focus. Indeed. It just kind of, yeah. yeah, gradually, gradually happened and continues to happen over time. Maybe, mm. maybe we were always Haken and we just didn't know it. We just didn't know. True. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I don't want to, so this, someone said, uh, have I heard of Father John Misty? Yes, I love Father John Misty. He's great. Sorry, guys, I just want to answer that question. Um, no worries. Um, John? Father John Misty, yeah, he's a, uh, oh, here's one for you guys. <laughs> oh, I was gonna have a nice question. Go for it. Go for it. Is from from Vikram Subramaniam. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, I'm it's... teaching him tomorrow morning. Actually, on... we love Vikram. Oh. Yeah, he's, uh, he's the amazing piano. Oh, that's a different Vikram. I yeah, think. I see his stuff on Instagram yeah. a lot. I uh, think Vikram Subramaniam might be a guitar shredder, actually, isn't he? Oh, is he right? No, uh, he's the amazing. Uh, Guitar shredder. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. both. Yeah. He asks, is there any possibility of seeing any songs off the cocoon being played by you guys, especially Twisted Shadows, since it has taken oh, in it? That's an awkward one. I don't, I, I don't think so. Probably not. The Haken songs are better, so... No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the mouth. Oh, boy. Controversial. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? And I think it was a great first attempt. <laughs> I think, you know, all credit to you for doing it. And uh, I'm sure the next one will be even better. Still working at it, the whole composition things. Yeah. I'm getting there, guys. I've got, this is a good question. <laughs> Favorite Dream Theater album from Opacity? Is it Opacity oh. or Opacity? I don't actually, Opacity, I'm assuming. Or Opacity. All the big guns. All the big guns. Um, um, fa yeah, maybe Dream it's op Opacity. It could be mm. uh, Opacity. Uh, Wow. Um, shall I go first? It's a big question. The first one I heard was Awake, and that just blew me away. I just wasn't really ready 
Blew you awake. I wasn't ready. <laughs> blew me awake. Now you're woke. <laughs> I was sleeping yeah. and it just blew me awake. <laughs> yeah, now you're woke to dream theater. Yeah. Uh. Um, but, but, seems from my memory, um, shortly came out after that, after me hearing awake. Um, and that became my favorite album. One of my favorites of all time, to be honest. It's just such a perfectly written album. Yeah, I love it. Charlie? Cool. Uh, I don't know, like change, my favorite changes all the time, but right now I'd probably say um, uh, images and words. Mm. Mm. I mean, I, I don't know, it, <laughs> like, like Charlie, like, it, mine changes a lot, but these days I've really been into the um, train of thought. I think that's an underrated album. Nice. Uh, yeah, that, that's I mean, great. Scenes from Memory is obviously a classic, but like, I don't know. The more I listen to them, I think Train Thought doesn't get its proper due. Yeah. I was really into that album for years. But I still think, yeah, probably Scenes from Memory or Awake for me too. Mm. <clears throat> but then to follow Scenes from Memory with Six Degrees of Inner Turbulence, which is just amazing as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah man. Classic just, stuff. Just, just their level of... Uh, you, can't, you can't fault it really, can you? Yeah. Just their level of stuff is just... It's just their own. They're they on their own level. So it's it's sad. Oh, shit. That... <laughs> Jerry's text. Jerry's text <laughs> showed up on my screen. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, Jerry. I didn't mean to do that. Language, brother. Language. <laughs> oh, language. sorry. Darn it. Oh, um, sorry, Jerry. All right, I'm. I'm. You do that once, or I'm leaving. Leaving this. Uh, yeah. Um. You, you watch well, your mouth. Uh. This is okay. Well, I got to turn that off because if someone else texts me. Oh shit! What am I doing? I can't do this. Oh, wow! Sorry. Wow! Connie is ah. so po <laughs> so popular. Wow! I've had a so text all week. <laughs> You're getting two in that one. Yeah, I can't. I can't turn it off because then people. I'm getting loads of texts as well from all the people that not Ishka Bibble. Not Ishka Bibble. Ish Tiak. Um, okay. Right. What do you get personally and professionally out of doing Cruise to the Edge? Ah, oh, well. It's, yeah, it's amazing. Well, Charlie's there right now. So yeah. You can yeah. start. Man. Stay on that ship. <laughs> you lot. Yeah. Yeah, they're not allowed to leave the ship. Um, <laughs> uh, well, it's great, right? Because it's, it's like, um, you know, the ship is like the tour bus and the venue and the accommodation and and the catering all and the holiday one. resort oh yeah all in one place mm. so everyone gets to kind of uh you know you know like being like we we have to play a couple of shows and then for the rest of the time we're relaxing just like everyone else and it's cool just to be able to go and check out band you know walk around and see a band and then yeah, it's great. And we usually finish a tour with the cruise. So it's a nice way just to meet up with your family because they usually come over. And um, yeah, it's quite relaxing, really. So we just do two shows, which are around about an hour each. And then we just chill out mm. for the rest of the five days and do, do various things. Yeah, for anyone who, who hasn't done Cruise to the Edge before and is kind of thinking about it, we, uh, we definitely recommend it. It's, it's a great, great week away. Yeah, and it's like all the all the bands and all the fans are just kind of there together, you know, mingling and yeah, you know, and it's uh, it's great to meet everyone every year and and uh, yeah, it's the best. Cool. Um, let's find some more questions. Uh, we've got one favorite gig ever from Robert Murray. Oops. And I, I don't know if, that's, mm -hmm. if that applies to the favourite gig we've ever played or the favourite gig we've ever attended. Well, oh. favourite favorite gig ever is just... That's tricky. Could be any any of those, right? Um, uh, I think for like for the shows that we've played, be on Prognation, actually. The first, <laughs> I remember, I'm sure it was Prognation at Sea 2014 mm -hmm. that Mike Portnoy set up. And it was the first show we played and we were on the, on the pool stage and it was just blistering sunshine. It was incredible. We could see the, the sea out there and we just played the whole, did we play the whole of Visions? Is that right? I don't think we played the whole of Visions that time around. No? 
We were playing some mountain stuff, maybe a little bit of vision stuff. We played the song visions, didn't we? And you ran off. Oh, I see. Sorry, I thought you meant we played the whole no, album. No, I did mean the whole album, but then you're right. We only played the song, didn't we? Then you jumped yeah. in the hot tub. Yeah, of course. Class. You're in a guitar You've section. got to remember that if there's a hot tub, you've got to try and jump into it in the middle of a show. Otherwise, you know, you're not really pushing yourself to the max. Yeah, it was a very memorable show. I liked it. Yeah, I have to, around the same sort of time, we played in Mexico for the first time. In fact, I think we played like shortly afterwards or shortly before the cruise, we played in Mexico City for the first time. Yeah. And that was just hilariously fun. I mean, the crowd were just nuts. Mm -hmm. We never really experienced um, a kind of Latin American crowd before. I think we didn't have Connor. We like didn't that. have Connor. So basically what we're trying to say is all of our favourite gigs <laughs> are pre-Connor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, my favourite gigs is any gig that Connor is playing with me. <laughs> Good. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's the best. Yeah. Wow. Is the rest. Actually, when you mentioned Mexico, it reminded reminded me of um, Baja Baja. the last the, the last time we played in Mexico City, mm. and yeah. something went went wrong with like Richard's keyboards or something. And, mm -hmm. Well, that was being fixed. We we kind of um, just off the cuff, no <laughs> rehearsal, <laughs> uh, started started playing Africa, and um, that's a Toto song. Yeah, we have. We have. Uh, which apparently, which apparently, that album to Toto Four is thirty-eight years old. Yesterday, wow, madness! That's mad. Yeah, amazing. It sounds so. But that was cool because it was kind of totally unplanned, and we we were, you know, we kind of played through it, and the crowd reaction was uh, amazing. You know, they were, they were singing in it, super loud, and lots of smiling faces everywhere. Um, that's probably your my favorite. Fav gig? Oh, sorry, sorry to button. That's probably my favorite moment of any gig we've played. Yeah. That was pretty fun. It was a really cool show as well. I mean, we had a, like one of the best crowds we've had there. Yeah. And intervals, intervals with us as well. Yeah, they're amazing. So it's, the whole it's night, was incredible. It's a fun time. Connor, a favorite, a favorite gig for you? Oh boy. Uh, jeez, oh, I don't want to contemplate on it too long here because it might get a little boring uh i don't know i uh well i always think the first gig i did with you guys was a lot of fun because it was like i've don't never you. i'd never played mm. don't, don't remember that oh <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah i didn't like that, like that one. okay anyone else remember anyone I, was that that from there maybe um <laughs> from there here probably not terrible the first gig i did with you guys was in the netherlands like a long time ago um and that was always it was just fun, you know it was, it's fun to, to remember all you that. did um you did a kind of version of the path yeah that was back at the right up the mountain came out so well i was at the border right yeah border right uh, that was cool man yeah. i was we should, we should so start fun. making you do that again wearing the same hat no no that was this, new one. this is new mm -hmm. cool. uh here's 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 one um how many times are songs kind of rewritten before recording how often or oh, how man. thoroughly is a song revised after it is first brought to the table like and jacob like hundreds of times i think like each of us will have loads of versions of the song then we'll send it to the other guys and then we go back and forth and everyone probably like well depending on how long the song is but mm. yeah loads and loads of revisions mm. yeah sometimes songs come together pretty quick though don't they like occasionally you get a song or two on an album that doesn't really need much work, at least after one person has already presented it to the rest of the band. But then there's a, yeah. plenty of examples of other songs that just, I've for whatever like, reason, you can't, can't just, get them to work. Those kind of songs, for me anyway, usually sprout from other songs. So you've got like a revision of a, a longer song, and then you don't use that idea, and then that suddenly becomes a whole new mm. song. Uh, often that's how songs are written, well, mm. for me anyway. Yeah. Any questions over your own, Connor? I've, I've seen quite a few people say worst gig you've ever played. I've seen that quite, quite a few times. Mm. Oh. I, I'm going to jump back into Mexico again because we also had a horrendous gig in Mexico once. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
It was a, a festival called Baja Prague. Oh, actually, I was there. It was a whole combination of all sorts of terrible things. The accommodation was <laughs> questionable and intimidating. And, and oh my god, yeah. Um, that we could, train. It was like, yeah, a murder, murder scene. Murder scene of a, like, it was yeah, we were, like, um, we were yeah. put in. Yeah, we were put in like this motel place, mm. like from Breaking Bad, kind of. Uh, and uh, every thirty minutes, the loudest train in the world would <laughs> just come. It, it was like ten would, feet away from where we were. Yeah, it was, like, the, just. Uh, and, and so, it was about like a hundred miles long as well. Yeah, so it so forever. it took it took twenty five minutes for it to go past, and then like five minutes later, another one came along. Yes, yeah. just... but then the 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 gig itself was. I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but I couldn't hit anything. There was one point <laughs> in, the, in the set where I actually had to stop, which has never happened before. Usually, you know, you've got to carry on regardless of what happens. Yeah, but I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> There was so much interference coming into my ears from this big wedge that I had. Yeah, and it was like really, really Stop. windy as well. I remember. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny thinking back to it though. Uh, one other gig that springs to mind was either on the last US tour, or the tour before, we played in Dallas, and it was probably the oh, coldest yeah. day ever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, yeah, we, we had to play. That's yeah, cool. We had yeah, yeah. Keyboards. We had an analog keyboard, and that went out of tune. And then, yeah, we just couldn't play our guitars at all. Um, people were like throwing hand warmers at us <laughs> to keep our hand warm. And we just yeah, it was like, well, it was, it was it Gas Monkey? Gas Monkey yeah. in Dallas. And then and it's the like, yeah, you think, I always think of Texas being warm, but apparently it gets freezing cold sometimes. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, I mean, my hand was like, couldn't feel it. Just numb. Yeah. And then we were like adamant, like, ne we're never doing this again. We're never, we're never playing outdoors ever again. <laughs> I'm had it with outdoor gigs. Oh, forget about this. And then, and then, then literally the next show was like, oh, guys, <laughs> it's outside. <laughs> the next day. <laughs> well, no, they, gave us, they gave us the choice. They said, do you want to play inside or outside? We're like, well, <laughs> let's do it, man. Let's play outside. Yeah, yeah it was like the, the kind of uh, sound engineers were like, well, the PA is better outside. So we're like, all right, <laughs> we'll, we'll do it. Literally the next, <laughs> the next day. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, I, mean, I, I had no idea it could get so cold in Texas. It was, I was oh, shocked. It was brutal. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh dear! Ray, you, got dear. Any, you got any good? Well, this is a question, Ray. Do you remember How do you memorize your crazy drumming? Oh, uh, I I don't have any tricks. I'm afraid. I just kind of keep keep uh, keep playing it until it sinks in. It's a really really long and strenuous uh job and uh I'm, I'm not very good at memorizing stuff anyway so that doesn't help my brain clearly isn't isn't uh, built for memorizing stuff uh, that's just an excuse obviously but um yeah I, I don't really have any tricks as i said just keep playing it and playing it and playing it until eventually it sinks in and it's just muscle memory sorry i couldn't help there <laughs> i was so bored i almost left <laughs> I know, yeah. I almost left. Our, our chat room's empty now. <laughs> no, it's actually... There's no one... <laughs> there's literally no more questions. I mean, it's there's been a, an hour. There's a bunch it's been of... An hour. Yeah, it has been an hour. Okay. Well, that seems, sounds like a good time to... To wrap it up. Wrap we it can do it up. again. Should we do it again? Let's do it again, yeah. We this should find fun. a better way to do it so that we can, we can sync it through Facebook rather than... Yeah. Pointing a phone at my screen. So, if anyone wants to help with our technological side of things, please do get in touch. Um, we're desperate for some input. Um, oh, and we should also give a shout out to to Mr. Griffiths there in the bottom right corner for putting together a wonderful um, guitar playthrough of our new song oh. Aesthetic. Oh. Oh, yeah. And so, for those of you who haven't seen, head over to our YouTube page or to our Facebook page. Because uh, Charlie's put together a great playthrough, and he's also made a video of the tab um, of the song with, and it's like a kind of backing track setup. Yeah. So there's no guitar. So any guitarist out there, you can you can record your own playthrough video of prosthetic, and Charlie's already done all the work for you basically. So you just have to play the guitar. So go and do that. The easy bit. Yeah, the easiest bit. 
Uh, oh, here's, here's the last question. Frantic Dev. I, oh, sorry, I read that wrong. Frantic Dev. As, I read that as Ross ever had a discount. Uh, <laughs> as Ross ever had, He did, actually. He even got, Ross has a Discord account. He did get a discount. Well, that's a good question. Has Ross ever had a discount? <laughs> I think he got a discount in Walmart <laughs> on the last tour. He bought some um, Ross dress for less. He uh, bought some sunglasses. Oh yeah, that's right. And they they yeah. broke in the car park. Yes, he, he went back to Walmart and got a discount. <laughs> nice. Where where else can you hear this information? Yeah. Just, uh, True inside information there. Well, uh, another, another another point from actually Brendan Hassan. Lovely background, Mr. Griffiths. Uh, Mr. Griffiths would you. like to point out that. Um, it's the background of his current location, so it's, it's yeah. not it's not superimposed. That's where Charlie is now. Yeah, I don't know why you're calling it a background. It's, um, <laughs> yeah, background would be the wrong word. I think you mean environment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. So should we should uh, we end it here? Or? Probably. I've got to, you know, put my son to bed. <laughs> yeah that's important <laughs> okay yeah well thanks for joining us everyone. yeah we'll, we'll do. yeah it's been great we'll uh figure this out better and do it we'll make this a regular thing yeah i gotta yeah. figure out how to turn off my notifications because uh, apparently people were seeing my texts which is probably not good <laughs> so, so that was coming up on twitch yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i probably need to delete oh, this like that. so nice. sorry folks so popular now. I didn't realize that's how this worked. I don't know anything. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. thanks very much, everyone, for tuning in. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Um, yeah, and if, any, if anyone else wants to offer us a discount <laughs> on anything as well. I'd love a discount. I do like a good discount. Yeah. Let us know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so I'll stop the stream then. All right. Thank I you. Know, I'll, I'll stop the Zoom call. And in fact, I should probably stop the live stream stop, first. Stop that, and then <laughs> you tell me when you've stopped that. How do, and then I, I'll how stop. do I stop it? Someone tell me. Do I press finish, finish down the bottom right hand corner? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let me. Uh, yeah. You are correct. My bad. Thanks, guys. You rock. Cheers, everyone. Thanks.